if it was my poster, I'd want it to say, welcome to Ohio, where's my blowy? But <laughs> Ileana and I have just hit it off, and I think she's going to be a wonderful addition to our family. I most certainly am very, very concerned that I may become physically attracted to Ileana. Adults adopting adults. I didn't even know you can do that. But here we are. Over the past few weeks, this show went absolutely viral because of one man and one man alone. This show had 10 episodes planned, only three aired, and then out of nowhere, they wiped the entire internet clean. They're pretending like this show never happened. Lucky for you guys, I remembered to turn on my Bluetooth. In fact, I was able to bypass the motherboard and hack into the mainframe. Today, we're gonna watch a man justify trying to cheat on his wife by adopting a full-fledged <laughs> human. This man is so down bad, he actually started to come back up. Nice. We're starting off strong with Ohio. What the fuck happens in Ohio? <laughs> I have no idea. Get out while you can. I'm giving you permission to leave this video. Don't hit me with that Irish goodbye though, okay? At least subscribe before you leave. Hi, honey. Hi. I'm making stuffed mushrooms for Ileana. Do I get some? Not tonight. If you can't tell by now, Ileana is the adopted adult in question. This man just said, hi, honey, I'm making stuffed mushrooms. And she said, his wife, can I have some? He said, not tonight. <laughs> the audacity, bro. Put her in her place. Healthy marriage. We're off to a great start. My name is Danny. This is my wife, Christy, and we live in Chillicothe, Ohio. It's her and I. That's our entire family, except for all of our critters. Christy has way too many cats. I told Ileana that she needed to check in for her flight. About three months ago, I went on social media and one evening read a post from Ileana. Her father died when she was very, very young and she truly needed somebody in her life. So we started communicating via text messages and just became acquainted. She looked at me as a father figure and I see her as my daughter. Man, that is so sweet. It really pulls on my heartstrings. Imagine that, a young woman from across the world loses her father, absolute tragedy, but then a sweet, passionate Ohio man says, you know what? No, I'm gonna step up to the plate and be a father figure for this woman. Mm -hmm. You see, if it was that simple, I wouldn't be making a video on it. We can't have children of our own. I'm an only child. And I realized that I had no one in my life to be a, my legacy. Christy, what's your motivation? It's love for our family, he and I being the family. Did you ever think that we would someday be adopting a grown woman with a baby? I try not to think too far ahead. Maybe that was the problem. <laughs> Ileana is about to have a baby of her own, so... Ileana has a great need. The baby's going to have a great need. To be honest, I've never even changed a diaper, never wanted to change a diaper. I feel like I have a lot of love in my heart, but it's mostly for my fur babies. <laughs> I don't think she wants a kid, <laughs> let alone a full adult. I just, you know, have my cats. They're great. They shit in the litter box. I can give them pets. Ah, I love my life. But Buddy over here is, you know, pushing for this woman to just show up at their doorstep. Adult adoption came to my attention when a young 18 year old girl came and bought a puppy from us. Her father had passed away years before and I just felt a need to help her in some way. She was interested in adult adoption. Unfortunately, I could not pursue that, that first young lady because I actually started having feelings for her. She was a very beautiful young lady. <laughs> I think I'm starting to sense where the uh, tension is coming from. <laughs> you see, I really don't think this guy actually wants to be a father. I think he wants to be a daddy. Yeah. Marriage? Pfft. Nah. No, honey, it's not cheating if I'm adopting her. On top of that, he, he's been unfaithful in the past and it almost ended us. And I was promised that was not going to ever happen again. Then Ileana came along and I thought, he's really doing this again. Can we cut the cameras? <laughs> this is a bit much for reality TV. Oh my Lord. 
You know who is the perfect candidate to adopt another full-grown human? A man who destroyed his marriage by cheating on his wife, who tried to adopt an 18-year-old but then got way too horny because his true intentions were to get with her and not for her to be his daughter, and who is now trying to adopt a new 20-year-old girl who is pregnant with a child. I don't see how this can go wrong in any way, shape, or form. What do you want this thing to say? I don't know. What would you want it to say? If it was my poster, I'd want it to say, Welcome to Ohio, where's my blowy, but... <laughs> That is the most Ohio thing I have ever heard in my life. I want to put that on a t-shirt. Can I sell merch with that? Welcome to Ohio. Where's my blowy? Now, <laughs> hold on. Isn't this for your daughter? <laughs> you knew it. You knew what I was Why are you going to be say? such a freak show? Why are you always Where such a freak show? Where are the naked girls? <laughs> my husband has crazy outlandish thoughts and ideas. My husband is a fucking lunatic. Help me. I'm blinking as an SOS. Get me off this show and ship me away. And we've had a lot of friends and family that are just very perplexed. Our lives are about ready to change. <laughs> Do you see this guy? Our lives are about ready to change. Yes, they are. Ileana and I have just hit it off, and I think she's going to be a wonderful addition to our family. But if you don't bond with her, then so be it. Oh, come on. Where's my milkshake? Can you hand me my milkshake? I'm kind of thinking we were having a conversation there. I know, but I needed my milkshake, and I need you to tell me how good my sign looks. Where's my milkshake? Daddy needs his milkshake. <laughs> this guy's gonna snap, bro. He's unwell. He's sick in the head. Yeah, we were having like a real conversation about you wanting to fuck our adopted daughter. Can we uh, get back to that? Daddy needs his milkshake. <laughs> Daddy needs his milkshake! Danny really likes to downplay my concerns and just brushes them off every time. And he proceeds on no matter what I say. All right. So I have clean sheets for Ileana's bed, do but I- a, Do you have a pillow for her? I have one, brand new. Our marriage is not strong enough to have someone else moving into our house. So I went ahead and made sure that we had other accommodations for Ileana and her baby and bought a camper and set it up right outside the house. That way she's safe and she's comfortable and they have their own space and I get sleep at night, hopefully. That's $5,600 I ever spent in my life. <laughs> Bro, this is a cry for help on this woman's part. It's the best $5,600 I've ever spent. All I want to do is just sleep. Please help me. While we're doing this, think about some ground rules so we don't have any miscommunications between us. You mentioned about the house key the other day. Yeah, I just so think- So have you changed your mind? You still don't want her to have a key to the house? I just think that beginning. for right now, That's I'm fine. just not comfortable yet. How are you going to be with us spending time together alone? Oh. Obviously, I've got to be appropriate. <laughs> That's, that'd be great. When you have to preface your statement, I mean, obviously I have to be appropriate. She's my daughter, you know? What, what are you, sick? I would never do anything like that. Can you trust us alone? Yeah, um, you just have this tendency to want to fuck our adopted daughters. Spending time together alone. alone. I know I'm nitpicking here, but that bed looks so uncomfortable. Personally, I would have went with something way more comfortable. My favorite, like a Helix mattress, which is why today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding customized to fit your needs, conveniently shipped in a box right to your doorstep. Everybody's different and Helix knows that. That's why they have this sleep quiz that helps match your sleeping preferences to your unique body type so that you can have the perfect mattress for you. Based on your different sleeping positions and preferred mattress firmness, they have something for everyone. I personally sleep on my side or stomach. I think if you sleep on your back, you're either dead or insane. And I like a nice medium mattress feel. That's why they matched me with the king size Midnight Lux. You guys know, based on my other videos, that I've had my Helix for a little bit over a year now. And at first I was sleeping on a queen, but when I moved, I had to upgrade because I loved it so much. If you sleep with a partner or even a pet, you can take the quiz together and find the perfect compromise for all of you. I had a lot of fun taking the quiz with my girlfriend 
Ben and my dog Sebastian, and he loves it just as much as I do. My favorite part about Helix is how easy it is to shop online for a mattress instead of going to the old crusty mattress store where the guy tries to sell you the latest and greatest mattress that's way too overpriced and doesn't really have the type of quality that Helix offers. There is nothing better than your new Helix mattress showing up at your doorstep completely free. I don't even know how they do it, but this thing comes rolled up in a box airtight and it's super easy to set up for yourself. I was laying on my brand new king size midnight lux in just about five minutes and if you're a strong boy like myself, you don't even need anyone to help you with carrying it up the stairs. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried yet in person, Helix offers a 100 night sleep trial. This will give you a little bit over three months to absolutely fall in love with your new mattress. And if you don't, they will come and pick it up for you, no questions asked, and you will get a full refund. Plus, Helix mattresses come with a 10 year warranty. They even have flexible payment plans and offer financing options. So a great night's sleep is never that far away. I love my Helix and I think you guys would too. If you're in the need for a new bed, check out Helix. You guys can head on over to helixsleep.com slash Philion or just click on the link down below to receive up to $200 off plus two free pillows. And massive thank you to Helix for sponsoring this video. I most certainly am very, very concerned that I may become physically attracted to Ileana. This is a delicate subject, but so far, I have not. Yeah, so far, I haven't met her yet, obviously, but I am not physically attracted to Ileana. Me, attracted to a young girl adopting? Stop assuming that I'm gonna be attracted to her. Eh, you know what? I'd probably give him the benefit of the doubt, right? He has no red flags that I can see. Let's wait until she comes. It's gonna be a nice relationship. One big happy family. Thought of her as a beautiful woman. She is. Christy, tell me what your friends are telling you when you're explaining this adult adoption process. You're able to censor bleep stuff, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> One of the comments I've heard most is, what the f is wrong with your husband? And we're gonna kill him. They wanna just literally kill him. And I've not said that to him out loud. They are definitely questioning his motives. <laughs> He's not even saying anything. <laughs> He's probably, yeah, that's deserved for sure. I'm just trying to get my blowy. We can actually call her right now. Hey. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing content. Just our little family. The girl hasn't arrived yet. Maybe this is a little foreshadowing to uh, the disaster that's about to ensue. Can you still hear us? Passport control now. Okay, you do, what, you do what you need to do. You take care of yourself. Bye. She has to call us later. So as it stands right now, it's a little bit after six in Chicago. Her flight leaves Chicago time, 7.15. She's probably not gonna make the flight. She's on her way, but my stomach just dropped. Uh, correction, your dick just got soft. Because I don't know that she would clear customs and immigration. She is pregnant. Is that gonna cause her an issue getting through? Does she answer some of the questions wrong? I don't think she's gonna be able to make it. <sighs> yeah, she was supposed to be calling for a shuttle from either the, probably the international terminal or from the domestic if she tried to catch the flight and missed it. I'm stressed. I'm anxious because I booked the ticket. I was hoping that they would tell me, yeah, that there's a butt in the seat, but couldn't get through to. I gotta know if my blowy is on the way. We can't get in touch with Eliana. We don't really know what to do. We're spending money on Eliana's plane tickets and now she's ghosted us. I know what's gonna happen. And that is, we're going to go to Columbus. It's the only safe thing to do. Christy has a lot of concerns about, was Ileana legit? Is she catfishing us? Is there a money angle here? But Ileana, she never mentions coming to the United States. I actually asked her, do you ever consider moving to the States? And she never thought of it. Yeah, that's another one. It was my idea for her to come to the United States. Baby, we need to move. He can be super clueless sometimes. Christy, I need you to move faster the water. This man is fiending, fiending for this girl, man. Yeah, skip the water. We don't have time for hydration. We got to hit the road to Columbus. I need to see my daughter. But Danny gets what he wants. And if he doesn't get it, then it's a problem for me or whoever has stopped it. We got to go. His stress level goes from zero to a million in five seconds. And it seems like the bigger the life event, the more that is true. 
walkway to terminal W. Let's go get her. I've invested so much. I risked my relationship with my wife, and I still am risking that relationship. But right now, I feel good, and maybe this is how I pay my pens to help somebody who needs a strong father figure. Not only is this man performing Olympic level mental gymnastics, he is gaslighting his wife like I've never seen before. And then he's justifying that his trials and tribulations, the entire arduous process to meet Ileana is his penance. As if he is now about to be blessed with a lifetime of blowies. Maybe she's gonna come right through there. She could easily be on the ground right now. Okay. I checked my phone, and Ileana hadn't been active online for hours at that point. Where are you? Where are you? Doesn't show that she's seen any of it yet. Did you come in on the Chicago flight? No. Uh, no. Okay. She maybe is ghosting us. I am going to all the bad places in my mind. That's a shame because my mind went to all the bad places and back since I started this video. I like being right all the time. And all of a sudden it looks like my wife's been right all along. Look at the amount of calf meat showing. <laughs> That's the biggest red flag. Ileana, where are you? Chicago? Yes. You're on the Chicago flight? Yes. Getting a little nervous now. Now I'm concerned that Ileana's agenda was to get to this country and we're anxiously waiting and here comes the second shoe dropping. Is that her? Where? I don't see Coming anybody. i security right now. Oh, that's her. Yep. Yep, it is. It is. <sighs> oh, that's tough. She's crying because she just came to the realization right before her eyes that her marriage is gone. Torched. Absolutely over. Which is a good thing? I think, but you know, could hurt in the moment. For sure, for sure could hurt in the moment. Hi. Hey. Hi. We are so happy you're here. We didn't know if you were on the flight or not. We're like, yeah, we're just going yeah. to the airport. I was emotionally drained. I gotta get another hug. <laughs> Ileana has entrusted me with her life. She traveled halfway across this world and she, she, she wants to be with me. Oh no, man. No, no, I got it all. Are you sure? This is what dads do. We, we take care of stuff. Oh. I'm so glad you made it. Yeah. I really, I, I don't know what I'm feeling yet. I just don't know. I was a bit in a hurry. That's why I didn't write. I'm very concerned. But Danny wanted this more than I've ever seen him want anything ever. So I hope for the best, but I'm a realist. That, that is so depressing. I'm looking to be adopted from Danny because I never met my father. And my mom, we had a very bad relationship. That's why I ended up on the streets. I decided to take matters in my own hands and find somebody online because being on the street with a newborn is not an option for me. Imagine you go through all these hardships in life and the glimmer of hope is being adopted and taken in by a great Ohio family and you get this guy, Mr. Where's my fucking blowy? There's bad luck and then there's like that what did I do in a past life kind of luck, you know what I mean? Do you want your backpack with you? This one here. Ileana needs me, and I couldn't be happier. I had to wait for my hug, but I love her to death. I tell her that I love her. You know, there's different types of love. Bro, you can't love someone as your daughter that you haven't met, that you've been texting for a couple months. But I don't think I have to explain that to you guys. And it's an appropriate love. It's appropriate, honey, I swear. Yeah, like saying that tells us, the viewer, that it's not an appropriate type of love. And, you know, I call her my daughter. I've been doing that since before she actually got here. And I would protect this young lady till the day I die. The bond was already there. It's only gotten stronger. We're watching the mind of a sick man unfold before our eyes. You can't even make up these type of delusions. The bond is stronger than ever. As soon as she wakes up, we will be ready to make her her first breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. <laughs> How did you sleep last night? Uh, I slept very good. How about you? Uh, weird dreams, but you know, typical. 
I would have slept better if my wife was not next to me. I'm surprised this man didn't fucking sneak into the trailer, man. <laughs> Old Danny just sneaking into the trailer. God, dude. The thought of that. <laughs> um, would you like some coffee? Yeah, sure, sure. I'm making you breakfast this morning. The first time me and Danny started to communicate was over social media. I sent out a post about my situation and Danny commented on my post. From there on out, our adventure started. The other people on this adult adoption group on social media, their intentions is always questionable and you really have to see behind the screen to what they actually want. You get anything you want, kiddo. You have absolutely no responsibilities <laughs> except give birth to a happy little baby. This feels as real as real can be. She's grateful. She's cute as the day is long. And I want her to go, that's my dad. You forgot the D, daddy. At the end of the day, Ileana, I want you to stay right here because I, yeah. I, I like hugging on you and you're, you know, you're awful sweet. I like hugging on you. You're very sweet. Now, where's my blowy? The face of just absolute concern from the wife, man. I've wanted a daughter for a long time. Yeah. You know, getting you here has been a real um, challenge between Christy and I. With Danny, I had a fast connection. We were talking and we could understand each other very quickly. And I think the beginning, Christy was very unsure about this whole situation because it was a Danny thing. There's been a lot of very heated discussions. And so I am very happy that Christy is, you know, kind of coming along and I think I appreciate it. Do you know some of the reasons behind her hesitation? The problem I think what was there was just not knowing me, thinking maybe I'm a scam. No, that would have been easy. Because it's not a normal thing, adult adoption. It's not a normal thing that, that adults are looking for family all the time. The three of us, we're just going to be a family. We're going to share things. So, Christy, if you were willing to share our marital problems, this would be a perfect place for you to do it. Oh, why not? Let it rip like a Beyblade right in front of Ileana. Are you kidding me? Lay it on the table. Put your balls on the table. No. Dude, I can't, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. This is horrible. It doesn't do me any good to say anything. It's not fair to another human to bring them into a situation that's got issues. I just need a moment. Okay. Take your time. Do you want me to ask him to shut the camera down? Nope. Okay. Yeah. I need a minute. Do you need more coffee? No, I'm good. I okay. still have like you a sure? half of coffee. Okay. Got it. Holy smokes. <laughs> what a TV show. Well, that was episode one. I can kind of guess why they canceled this show, but I really want to find out. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready to adopt someone, but if you want to call me daddy, all you have to do is hit subscribe down below. Welcome to Filion. Where's my subscribey?